Let's continue right where we left off in our last video where we installed the super awesome, totally open source NFT marketplace. How do we give ourselves all of the administrator credentials that we need to modify, extend, change, change this marketplace? We actually govern access to our system with a non-fungible token, an NFT, and we've made these things totally 100% free and easy to use. So you don't even need a MetaMask wallet or any gas. You basically can just log in with any social login flow and mint the free access credential that you need. So as a little bit of context, let's jump back over into our repository, the 100% open source rare protocol repository here. And let's see what we're actually gonna do. So here's our mono repo that has all of our code in it, every single thing that we need to run our app. And if we look in this, ENV sample file, we will see down here, we have this thing called admin contract. So our backend, our database is looking for a field in it that has your wallet address and the correct credential. In this case, our official credential is this base NFT. So a non-fungible token on the base blockchain. So if you see this thing here that says 4AAAEE, -E, this thing here, we're gonna go mint one of those for free and that will give us full access to our system. So let me show a couple different ways, a couple different ways to do that. So here's our deployed app, the same thing that you have deployed on localhost, but this is our nice cloud version that anybody, so this is rare.market. Uh, we also have another site here called rareprotocol.xyz. Either one of these work, they both connect to the same exact contract. So let me, we'll use rare protocol dot uh, XYZ. I'm going to go click connect. And then there's two ways I can connect to our system. I can use MetaMask. If you're a more sophisticated web three user, have saved your seed phrases, etc. Or if you just want to do this with no web three experience at all, hit social logins. This is going to trigger our web three auth flow. So web three auth is this awesome company that stores all of your keys for you and lets you make a wallet just as easily as using Google or any of these other sign ins. So I'm going to go sign in with Google because why not? That's an easy flow. We'll see. Here's my uh, work email. Uh, I'll click continue and we'll just jump boom right in. We'll connect it to the account and then that will dump us in and create us a free free account. Now what we need to do is go click on the banner or we can go click on one of these tiles. Here's a few other fun things. We've imported a doodle and doing some stuff with Sony, which is fun. But yeah, so let's go, let's go in here. We'll click the banner. All right. And then boom, this will load the collection and we're going to try to mint one of these for free. So the way we mint one of these for free, we click the mint button here and we have two different tiers. We're going to want this free license gas sponsored. That means we pay the gas for you. You don't need any sort of funds in any kind of wallet to do this. All you have to do is go in here and click the buy button. So let's do that right now. Boom. So we'll click the buy button. We have this fun little Grandpa Simpson gif that is going on as in the background. We have now queried our gas policy. Alchemy actually has sponsored, is nice enough to sponsor the gas for this. And now we have the access credential that we need to log in and be a super administrator in our system. All right. Second part, what are we going to do? We're going to go back over here into our command line and we're going to update our system. And then we are going to use that access credential that we just got to be a full on administrator in our system. Uh, so let's do that. So let's jump back over to our really nice getting started guide here. I'll show you the dark mode version. And if you remember in the last video, we installed all the stuff. If you want to watch it, it's right here. But let's go down to this update section and let's get the very latest code. In the latest version of our code, we do all of this configuration stuff, including the very first time you log into the system, that credential that you just minted is going to allow you total access to our system. Uh, it's a uh, logic that basically makes you a super administrator. So be careful, but whoever the very first person is that logs into the server is going to automatically be granted these super administrator rights. So again, like the last video, we're just going to copy paste these commands sequentially here. Here is our rare demo too. And we're just going to do git pull. Cool. So now we've updated, updated with our latest version of the code. What is the next step? Why don't we look at all of these existing images that, that we built from the last video here? 
And we can see that last week we, we pulled down all of these images. So what are we going to do now? Let's actually delete them uh, with this command here, sudo docker rmi, and then we're going to copy these image IDs and then totally delete delete the, the system here real quick. So we're going to sudo docker rmi, and that's going to take me just one second, just one second to basically paste these in. And maybe a fancy, nice command to do this that's not so laborious, copy all image IDs or something, please let me know. But I'm just gonna be dumb here and just manually put in this command for you. Again, this flow is only if you want to update the system. If you're happy, if you're happy with the current version of the system, don't need to do this. Oh, excuse me, I need to stop, I need to stop the system first, which is the sudo docker down down command. So let's try that. Oh, excuse me. I need to cd rare dap, get into the proper place to run this down command, and we will stop. <laughs> stop everything. Don't try to delete it while it's still while it's still running. You certainly want it to be down. Okay, so let's go up and then rather than typing in all that junk again, we'll just hit the up key and then boom, it will remove all of those images for me. Let's run this command to delete all of our containers, this prune, uh, this prune command. And again, if I want to get slightly fancier with it, I of course can do something like this and move my windows around just a little bit so that you guys can see. Boom, now it's doing everything again with the totally latest, greatest version of our software. So if you ever want to, again, see what we've been working on, pull the latest and greatest, basically just run those couple of commands and then you'll always be exactly up to date. Because we build these nice images and put them up publicly in Docker Hub for you, it means that's very easy for you to basically just update, update whenever you want. And again, this is on localhost, but you could just as easily do this on your cloud machine. So say you're running a production NFT marketplace or whatever other DAP uh, you're trying to run, basically use these same exact commands that I just showed here and, uh, and be fully up and running. So the very last thing I'll do once this is finally run and we're all up is we're just gonna go to localhost and then we are going to log in and, uh, and make sure that we, uh, we can be super administrators in in the system. So now that we did the docker up minus D command, our local host is now up and operational, which is super, super awesome. So the way that I log in here is just like I did on the original rare protocol XYZ rare market server, right? It looks identical because you basically just deployed our production app yourself, which means that you can now log into your own version of it and mess with it and change it and make it awesome yourself. So. We're gonna go connect over here on our local host version of the DAP, select social logins, and now this is gonna bring up the sign-in flow, the Web3 auth sign-in flow. So just real quick about the Web3 auth sign-in flow. If we see you over here, you should totally go to Web3 auth and get your own account, get your own client ID, API key, and then you can run your own DAP with your own users. As a default though, we provide everything for you totally out of the box. So if we go over here and look in Visual Studio Code, again, the environment variables that we copied over in the last video that installed everything that you would need totally out of the box with no configuration need, including this Web3 auth client ID here. We also went in and added localhost as well as all of these other addresses to, to the whitelist. Let's go over here back to our DAP. In fact, bring this into full screen here. Let's go to localhost, say maybe over here on Chrome, and let's do the social login flow. Continue with Google. And just like in the beginning, uh, when we did this to mint the free NFT, now we're going to use the account that we already made and then log into your own production deck. So let's just go through this flow here, connected. And boom, we'll see here that we are now logged in to our own version of the application. And you'll see that you're a gold super admin, which means that everything worked. And you are, uh, by default, the first one to log into the local host system. So you are also, by default, the very first super administrator. I'm going to stop the video here and in the next one, we're going to go into the super admin panel and then actually show you all of the different settings, how you can change the color of the server, the logos, which blockchains you're syncing with, a bunch of other cool stuff. So stay tuned. Thank you.